Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of representing additive and multiplicative relationships. This is standard 6.6c .6 in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 27 of the 2019 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we have a food cart that sells 120 frozen treats per day. And this per lets us know it's a rate because it is giving us a relationship of every day. It's 120, which means if we're dealing with a relationship of a rate, also means it's multiplicative or multiplication. So we have to match that with one of these graphs down here. So let's see if we can just make our own coordinates here uh, that we would, uh, we'll call it x, y, but really we'll call them, let's label them as we've got each day and then we've got frozen treats. So I'll put D and FT. So let's see for uh, day one, it's 120 because it's 120 per day and we'll just do a few more. So day two, we're going to do another 120, that's up to 240. Day 3, another 120, that's 360. Oh, and let's do up to 4, that's 480. So now we need to find which of these matches that. So let's take a look down here and make my little table. We'll start with A. And you notice that on this X axis, we actually have the frozen treats. So we've got the frozen treats. And then we've got the days over on the y-axis, so they flip those for us, so one frozen treat. And if you see, it's a little bit above 100, so we'll call it 120. But take a look at what we've got there. We sell one frozen treat, 120 days. Day two, or two frozen treats, is just a little bit below 250. So in three frozen treats are sold after about three that probably is supposed to be the 360 looks like they're at least keeping the correct numbers they've just got them in the wrong order four frozen treats is 480 so the numbers are correct but the x and y coordinates are flipped they are absolutely backwards we've got the frozen treats one two three four we should have the frozen treats as your 120 240 360 480 so this says that we're going to sell one frozen treat after 120 days, and that's not making any sense. So let's try B, see if that makes a little bit more sense. At least we've got our days as our x-axis here, which is the way it should be. So we can at least do one, two, three, and four, if that makes sense. Let's see if we sell enough frozen treats each day. So that's a little bit above 100. So that looks like, oh, we'll call it the 120. That's the number we're looking for. Day two is a little bit below 250. So we'll call that 240. Day three is, looks like it's a little bit above 350. So we'll call that the 360. So that looks like that might be it. B looks pretty good. Let's just double check. Well, C, C we know is going to be wrong because of the x-axis being the number of frozen treats sold. And that's not going to work for us. What we need, because that's what happened over here with A, and they completely flipped it. The number of frozen treats needs to be the y-axis. So let's look at D real quick. They at least have the axes correct here. So day, frozen treats. So I've got one, two, three, and four. So let's see what we have here. So this frozen treats, but that day one is less than 100. That looks like almost 80. Day two looks like a little bit above 100, maybe 110, 120. Day three is a little bit above 200, call it 180. I'm not even sure what they're counting by here, and four looks like a clean 250. So you have X and Y axis correct on D, the numbers are just wrong. Take a look at your 120 per day. doesn't match up over here. So D is wrong. So this information best matches B.